We're here today in beautiful Venice, Italy. Uh, if you've seen our previous videos on London, York, Perth and our throwback to the Maldives, you'll see that we're not really in the videos much and we're not talking. Uh, we're both a little bit camera shy. A little bit. <laughs> uh, and we've decided to get out of our comfort zones and start vlogging. We think that this will add a new dimension to our videos um, that hopefully you will enjoy. If someone wants to listen to us, then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of the bucket list items that most, if not all, people want to do when they come to Venice is to go on a gondola ride, on a gondola just like this one here. It is quite expensive though, it's 80 euros during the day for up to six people. So if you do want to share, if you're coming with a group of friends, or if you just want to share with random people, then it's a bit more manageable. After um, seven o'clock in the evening, it is more expensive at 100 euros because it's more romantic. Um, if you're not keen for spending all this money, there is a different option, as you can see here. Um, you can travel like the locals do on the, they call it the traghetto. It's uh, two euros uh, for tourists. And instead of going along the Grand Canal, you're going from one end to the other. It's not quite the same experience, I guess, if you want to put it that way but it is an experience on a gondola. So this is the Rialto Bridge. It's the oldest of the four bridges that spans the Grand Canal in Venice. Um, it connects San Marco with San Polo and obviously the bridge is really old. Um, it was first built in about the 12th century or so and it's been rebuilt several times and this is now what it looks like today and it's one of the biggest tourist attractions in Venice as you can see. our first day in Venice we're just kind of wandering we don't really have a plan uh, we just saw the Rialto bridge there are a lot of people uh, seems like a lot of students as well but there's also a nice kind of vibe like Romantic. <laughs> the sun setting um, it feels kind of peaceful even though there's a lot of people and there's a lot of noise and this is actually, well, this is my second time here. I first came here for a night um, three and a half years ago now, um, in September, in the middle of September. And it was so hot and there were so many people and it was flooded. So it was stinky. stinky. <laughs> That's what I expect, to be honest, but it's quite chilly now. So it's I guess cool that's enough why it's that it's not, not going to stink. So these things that we're going to pass oh. by here, um, just here, um, that's what they use when the city is flooded. So they have the metal like little feet, and then um, and then uh, and then they put down the the wooden boards, and um, there's more here. No, oh, yeah. And um, people just walk on those, and that's. How they get around when the city's flooded.
Good morning! It's our second day here in Venice and we decided to get up really, really early and catch the sunrise. Uh, it was really, really nice and it's really quiet here right now. Still nice. Yeah. A lot of pigeons walking around, not many people, a few other people with cameras. You have to get up early here. Yeah, if you want it to be, you know... Be almost alone. Like that. This is one part of Venice that I vividly remember from the last time that I was here. And this is the part that was really flooded and crowded with so many people and hmm. really, really hot. So it was smelly. Um, but now it's really nice to kind of have it all to ourselves. I can smell only breeze, fresh air from the <laughs> water. It's, it's really nice. We're in St. Mark's Square right now, and behind us is St. Mark's Basilica. Um, it's free to go into, I believe, but it looks like it's open right now. It's a bit early for that. And here we have the Campanile, or the bell tower. You can climb to the top for a fee, and obviously that looks to be the highest point in Venice. So undoubtedly you'd probably get outstanding views. Um, but our host recommended us a, another viewpoint. It's a rooftop terrace close by to, I think, Rialto Bridge um, that we'll go to tonight for the sunset. Um, that's close to how she says it's the best views of Venice, so. You have to book in advance. Yeah, it's free though, it's free. So this one you have to pay, but the other one is free, so we'll see. Yeah. A lot of deliveries here. Oh yeah. Right now. This is one of the cool things about getting up really early in the morning. Um, you get to kind of see the day start for the locals. Obviously, because everything is by boat, they need to get everything done really early. So before all the crowds and all the gondolas start going for the tourists. This is like a baker boat. Yeah, croissants are in there, it seems like. Bowl. There's drinks and sauces and food. I don't know what these things are. Yeah, so we're right by the fish market. Well, it's, it's a fish and it seems like fruits and market. It's and vegetables as well. And uh, we're actually a bit early. It doesn't open until 7.30. But you can see right here that um, these people are unloading all of the fruit, fruits and vegetables, I think. Yeah, it looks like fruits and vegetables um, to get ready for the day. And I think we'll maybe sit in the sun for a little bit until the market actually opens. So we just stumbled upon this really cool shop where a husband and wife couple make um, the ceramic and paper mache masks and magnets. 
um, and they specifically have signs of this. Say they're not made in China, they're made in Italy, but he actually has... Two kind of uh, made in Italy as well, like made with ceramic and made by paper as uh, originally. And he also has plastic ones in there as well. I think just for the effect of showing people the difference between the you know really cheap plastic ones from China versus the paper mache ones that he makes in the shop. Just way. to show, just to show us the difference between them. Yeah. And of course, the customer can decide which one would like to buy. There is the price tag on it as well. But if you think about Carnival, it's definitely good to invest in the original one. three four day because okay. there is the time to dry the mask in the in the paper in the mold and after there is the time to realize the base the color but in maybe four hour work handmade it's ready okay so you have to give a time for drying process as well yes and you put in few layers or of the paint or yes just one no There is minimum three, four layers. At the paper, there is minimum four layers. It's a particular paper. Hmm. Particular paper because uh, the paper absorbs the glue. Yes. Like that, the humidity can enter in the middle and destroy the, the mask. really kind of posh shopping mall um, because we were just up on the on the fourth floor of this building which has a rooftop terrace and you get really nice views of Venice and so we decided to come up at 6 15 in the evening um, because the Sun was setting so that was a really cool experience we saw the sunrise and the sunset today. Hey, right, where do you head? Um, it's calamari, and I see some shrimp here, and it looks like French fry. <laughs> 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 
street food. Yeah. Not it's from, for me. It's from this this place here. 